Welcome to CRPA News. I'm Rick Travis, and today I'm happy to have with me Bob Lindsay, who's running for Sheriff of Los Angeles County. We'll begin into some hard-hitting questions to see if he's the right man for the job. Mr. Lindsay, why are you running for Sheriff of Los Angeles County? You know, I worked for the Los Angeles County Sheriff's Department for 32 and a half years, worked 25 different assignments, worked in the department, and worked for three different sheriffs, Peter Pitches, Sherman Block, and Leroy Baca. Today, it's a department in crisis. And as I see that, I looked and I want to take my experience, my knowledge, and what I have learned through 32 years and bring it back to the people, the community in Los Angeles County. If elected sheriff, what will gun owners in LA County see as being different from their current situation? Well, for the past several decades in Los Angeles County, the Second Amendment has been suppressed. Immediately, what gun owners will see is a sheriff who believes in the Second Amendment, who believes in shall carry, and who immediately makes gun owners capable of doing what it is they want to do, and that is being able to follow the Constitution. Do you believe that responsible, law-abiding armed citizens make our community safer, and would LA County benefit from more armed citizens? The answer to that question is absolutely yes. Armed citizens who are armed in a safe manner will definitely make Los Angeles County a safer place. In the United States of America, 2.5 million people every year utilize guns to keep themselves and their families safe. Half a million CCW carriers protect themselves and others. And it is proven throughout history that having the Second Amendment invoked in any county makes us all safer. Right now, it is nearly impossible for the average L.A. County resident to get a CCW. Will you be issuing more if elected sheriff? The answer to that is absolutely. When I'm the sheriff, I will be issuing because I will be a shall issue sheriff. Currently, there's only 197 CCWs that have been issued to 10.1 million Los Angeles County residents. This is deplorable. When, in fact, I'm the sheriff, you can expect that there will be systems in place that the Second Amendment will be enjoyed in Los Angeles County. We will streamline the systems and make it available for every person to enjoy their right to bear arms. We all know about California's good cause requirement. What are your thoughts on the legality of good cause requirements and do you believe that self-defense is justified as good cause? Well, I think we all know that a federal court made the decision that it, good cause could be invoked by some of the cities or some of the counties. Good cause, as far as I'm concerned, is a good excuse for somebody somewhere to make a decision not to give you a gun. So self-defense is good cause. And the bottom line is when we give people the opportunity not to issue, then they'll take advantage of that. As the sheriff of Los Angeles County, you can bet that self-defense is enough for you to be issued a CCW. Then describe what you view as the process for obtaining a CCW under a Sheriff Lindsay administration. Well, you know, the process to obtain the CCW is going to be streamlined. I understand that in LA, in LA County, what's happened over the course of the past several years is that nobody has been issued one. So there is going to be a call to want to get a CCW, and rightfully so. So we will streamline the process. We're going to be able to do it in a manner that makes it available for individuals to do it online. And of course, you're gonna to have to go through an intensive background and through the background, after that, there's training that you will go through. And after the training, you will be issued that CCW, providing you pass the training successfully and you qualify. Here in Orange County, we experienced Sheriff Hutchins opening up the process for obtaining a CCW. And as a result, like you have accurately portrayed in L.A. County, if you were to be elected, that process meant a lot of people were applying. 
How will you gain the resources to process this change? Well, you know, I do expect that there will be a lot of people applying since it's been suppressed for so many years. When you have 10.1 million people, we know we have a lot of patriots in there that want to keep LA County safe. So in order to do that, resources will have to be made available, but we can do that through the utilization of reserves, through the utilization of volunteers. We can do that with online resources. And this isn't something that we have to do necessarily at any one building. So it's gonna be decentralized. We will figure out how to accommodate everybody and how to make it an experience that is appreciated and not a delay. How is morale in the LA County Sheriff's Department right now versus under the three previous administrations that you served in? Well, I can speak for the last three administrations and I actually can speak for this administration right now, not for them, but on behalf of all the deputy sheriffs that are out there that I talk to. And additionally, my son is a deputy sheriff, my nephew's a deputy sheriff, and my brother's a deputy sheriff. I can tell you right now the morale in the LA County Sheriff's Department is at a historic low. Right now, deputies do not want to engage. Right now, deputies fear the fact that if they do engage or if they do do police work, they're going to be disciplined. Disciplined to the point of losing their careers, disciplined to the point of not being able to feed their families, and disciplined in a manner that is incorrect and not departed on them in the manner that it should be based on what they did. Based on your previous comment, obviously the morale is having a negative impact on deputy performance in protecting both property and human life. Would that be true? It's true and it's having an impact on the community. You know, recently the sheriff of Los Angeles County got up and stated that crime is down. He knows it's not, that's an incorrect statement. So when you impact deputy performance, you impact it in multiple ways. But the biggest way is their ability to go out and prevent crime. At this point, many deputies do not want to engage in the performance of their duties. They'll answer a call, they'll do what they're called to do, but when they go out, they really don't want to engage people who might be committing crimes because they're afraid of the discipline that will be imparted on them. You're seeing this in rising graffiti. You're seeing it in rising part one crimes. You're seeing it in the rise, not just in one place, though. You're seeing it all over Los Angeles County. A lot of excuses will be made regarding legislation that has been passed. But one of the biggest problems in the Los Angeles County Sheriff's Department is that deputy morale is also impacting the crime rate. What will you do to support training the youth in LA County to be responsible, law-abiding gun owners? You know, training the youth is huge, not just in the gun area, but in any area, whether it comes to drugs, alcohol, um, and guns. There are several ways we can do it through youth foundations, but also getting into the schools. The other thing we need to do is partner with organizations such as this one wherein we can go ahead as a sheriff's department, work with gun uh, owners, work with gun programs, and take the talent that is already out there rather than reinventing the wheel. So we can go ahead as the sheriff's department and team up not only with the community, but with responsible gun shops and, and organizations to take the message in a more comprehensive way to the youth. Is there anything else you want LA County gun owners to know about you, Mr. Lindsay? You know, what you see is what you get. I've had several people tell me that I shouldn't even address the gun issue because here in Los Angeles County, it could be a loser. I don't believe that. I'm willing to stand up for the Constitution and the Second Amendment. I'm willing to go ahead and put myself out there to tell the truth because that's who I am. What I need now is for you, all of you, who support the Second Amendment to stand next to me so that we can go ahead and take Los Angeles County back from decades of Second Amendment, Amendment suppression and we can move forward knowing that once again our Constitution will be followed and you as gun owners and even those who aren't gun owners who want to own a gun can get the opportunity to once again 
provide safety for themselves and their families.